Vectorworks have been working hard to make some text changes in Vectorworks 2015. One of the nice things that they've introduced is the ability to control tracking. So if I just slide this along, you'll see I can increase the tracking on my notes. Tight tracking, wide tracking, and so on. The other thing they've changed is the ability to have multiple tabs with different widths. So you can just click anywhere you want and create tabs at those positions. Drag them off if you don't want them. But it's quite a nice trick that we can now have varying tab widths. A lot of people have complained about this in the past. They really want to have the ability to have different widths on the tabs so that they can create, for example, a setting like that. So let's just take away that tab, we'll take away that tab. So it gives your text much more of a structure. Text styles have been slightly updated and you can now apply a text style to a class. I think this is really brilliant because what you can do now is you can actually say every time I put text on this class I want it to use this text style. So I've got a bit of text here, I just want to assign that to a different class. So I'm just going to use my navigation palette, assign to selection. Notice how the arrow changes at the end, the size of the font changes, the color of it changes. And if I put that back on the general, it picks up the arrow head, picks up the line weight, picks up the text style. So this is a great way of controlling the size of your text by using the classes. In this case, I'm going to use the section for a, a 1 to 50 cross section plus a 1 to 10 detail. And I need to have my text on different classes to help me achieve that. Well, since I've got to have my text on different classes, I can also use that class to control the size of the text. Using that technique where the class is then controlling the text style applied to all those text objects. Thank you for watching. For the leader in Vectorworks training and manuals, visit learn.archoncad.com.